<laughs> OK, uh, from New Zealand, this one. If you were the Warriors, boys, who would you prefer to play in the finals? Week one, Broncos or Panthers? Well, geez, I tell you, take, take your pick. I mean, that's... Is Luai uh, busted? Well, that's, that's the thing. I mean, if you look at the odds for the Premiership, um, I think the you blokes are 260. The Broncos now are $3. They're certainly shortened up with mm. uh, as far as Jerome being out. But, I mean, really. Toss a coin. It is. Styles make I reckon the Warriors would get more support in Br- Brisbane for a home game. Absolutely. So I'm thinking they might want to play the Broncos. But who, who would you like to play if you were the Warriors? Broncos. Broncos. Yeah, I think the Broncos. I, I think, I'd I think go... Penrith, are, they've, they've, they've been there, done that too many times over the last few years. So I think they're a little bit more steely. Warriors 18-6 over the Dragons and uh, hard-fought win. Actually, their last three games have been really hard-fought wins. The Dragons, mate, they've been given a lot of cheek at the back end of this uh, this year. I thought Adam Fanil Blake was was outstanding. What, what a season he's having. Well, nearly had, nearly had a double. He, he bombed one and got another one. But the Dragons gave him a bit of a scare early on when Zach Lomax accidentally knocked on early off the kickoff, which mm. kind of woke the, woke, the, um, woke the Warriors up a bit. But as you said, Matty, the, the Dragons... They've just seen since they've just all the all the quietness has gone out about them in the media. Uh, they know they're not going to play semi-final footy. They're just playing yep. better footy. But I think the Warriors, the Warriors aren't. They're not going backwards, but they're, yep. they're, I thought they would have blown them out of the I water. Think, and the Andrew, last couple yeah. of weeks they've been a bit like that, where just they've little things, yeah, yeah, a few little yeah. hiccups along the way. Um, Still winning, so that's all that counts. Yeah, that's true. Luke Metcalf. Uh, I mean, this time of the year, you need luck to win the competition, right? And you've got to get a clear run. Um, Luke Metcalf, he uh, got a hamstring injury. He'll miss a few weeks, which is such a shame because he's been exceptional with Sean Johnson. Yeah. Well, they've got Tamari Martin. I think he's close to, to coming back too. But, yeah, Luke Metcalf has been outstanding. Yeah, for that's, the, a, yeah, that's a blow for the Warriors. Now, my Westpac red zone <laughs> player of the round uh, is that freakish try that almost was, uh, which would have been an NRL record. I think it was something like... Uh, what was it? Something like... Uh, 12 Ooh, seconds or there. 9 seconds. Ooh, this. Ooh. And uh, straight off the kickoff, unfortunately went to the bunker and it was ruled no try. Boo. So, oh, Fletch, you know what I'm going to do here, don't you? Please tell me you're going to bag the bunker. <laughs> you're not going back, are you? <laughs> I, I swear how, far, how far are you going back? <laughs> this is my thing. Let me this think. is my go. I, I started it. Did you? This is my thing. Well, it's, how's Pretty it going? sure I did it years ago, guys. OK. Uh, <laughs> Maybe not. OK, <laughs> let's go back and have some other quick tries. <laughs> uh, this was uh, the quickest uh, NRL try. This was uh, uh, 11 seconds. Uh, Avar... Uh, for Parramatta up against uh, the Broncos here. Spills out, picks the ball up, try. There you go. Now, this is the fastest ever, not NRL. Eight seconds. This was at uh, Henson Park. Albert Kelly. What's this? Is that Winnie Magpies? Yeah. Oh, straight through. There you go. Eight seconds. But the fastest ever in the UK Super League. Seven seconds. Ben Crux. What's this for whole KR? Cruxy. Oh. Good. You're welcome. Mm. Uh, now, <laughs> this one, Scotty, I'm a Sharks supporter. Curious, are you related to the iconic Sorensen brothers, Kurt and Dane, from back in the day? Yeah, mate, I am. They're uh, my second cousins, so obviously dad's first cousins. Um, so, yeah, um, lots of stories about them growing up and um, obviously books and footage here. And um, Yeah, mate, so I am. She's so great players. Dane, 228 games with the Sharks. Dane went to the Roosters, then back to the Sharks again. And Kurt, remarkable Kurt. Kurt, you know, started Mount Wellington. Then he went to Wigan, played 16 games there. Cronulla, Roosters, back to the Sharks. And then he goes to Widnes. And I thought his English career was two or three seasons. He played 252 games Mm. for Widnes. All up, something like 457 games. Wow. Yeah, for a bloke, the way he used to play, Kurt, too. Yeah. Uh, exceptional player. Well, let's not forget Mitch. Also, your uncle playing for Parramatta, uh, the mm. great Brett Kenny. Mm. <laughs> no relation? No relation. <laughs> <laughs> so this is pointless. <laughs> OK, I've got some, um, I've got some Nutri-Grain footage of uh, Grand Kenny. Are you re- <laughs> You're not relation to Grand Kenny? Any no. famous Kennys? No famous Kennys. No. He's a big layer. Yeah. Okay. They're famous. <laughs> Kennys are good. Yeah. Kenny Calendar. Expensive. Um, Surname. Uh, sorry. 
Uh, this one from uh, Bonnie at Glenhaven. Scott. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry, uh, you must have been disappointed to finish only 48th in the NRL's hottest 100. <laughs> is this a stitch up question? No, this is. <laughs> <laughs> Can you put this one in there? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I thought. Oh, I mean, I was disappointed for you. <laughs> yeah, thanks, 48. Yeah. Were you, like, were you disappointed? Yeah. Oh, no, I couldn't care less. Yeah, now, come on. Oh, don't start. Don't put I mean, Corey Hawthorne was 46. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who's doing this list? Uh, yeah, you should have been high. Mitch, you should have been higher. Yeah, I'd like to think so. Yeah, you should so be. Next, next, year, next year, you were you were ninety. What, what were you? Four hundred. Yeah, seven. I don't think I cracked no. the top hundred. Do you talk about it? Do the players talk about it? Scott does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Do you look? Like, are you, are you getting online, looking at like oh, yeah, forums well, yeah, and stuff? Yeah, why not? Yeah, see who's in there, and then. So thirty. If, if, yeah. Or you go to training, you can take the piss out of the boys. Yeah. And have a laugh about it. So. <laughs> Who won it yeah, last year? I think, uh, was it Sexy Eyes? Walsh? Rich? No, it was Nico. Oh, of uh, course, Nico. Yeah. Nico's got everything. He's going he fit, has, mate. fit on top. Oh, no. You reckon? Yeah, you're going to fit on top. <laughs> I'm going to say Reese uh, will be number yeah, one next year. Yeah, Sexy Eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It'd be hard like, to knock off Nico, though, on top of that. Yeah.